Visconti is an absolutely iconic fountain pen brand, and it's on many of your wish lists. But is it enough just to get an introductory level Visconti just so you can have that name in your pen case? Or should you really save up and get that Grail pen? So today we're gonna to talk about the three different price ranges that you see with Visconti pens, and if it's worth it to go big. First pen is the Visconti Mirage. And this is representative of these entry-level steel nib Visconti pens that are in that $100 to $300 price range. So the Mirage has a stainless steel nib, and because of the price range, it's gonna be kind of on the premium end of what you typically see with most stainless steel pens. Think of your Edison pens, your Diplomat Arrow, Monograph Elmo. The Mirage has a magnetic cap, which is actually pretty sturdy for what you see with most magnetic caps. And it pushes to post on the back, so it's a very handy, very quick draw kind of pen, which is really nice. And actually, all of Visconti's steel nib pens have this magnetic cap. The clip on the pen is actually modeled after the Ponte Vecchio Bridge, which is right in the heart of Florence. And it's a spring-loaded clip, which is a little more complicated in its design, but it's extremely, extremely practical to use. The resin that's used in these pens is a very durable resin, and it's got this variegated pattern to it, which is sort of unique to Visconti. They have figured out how to get a swirl pattern in these resins that really is defining towards this brand. The Mirage takes a standard international converter or cartridge, so you got a little bit of versatility there. It's available in a fine, medium, and broad, and it's a list price of $159. Next up, we have the Visconti Homo Sapiens. So this particular one is the Bronze Age, uh, and it's got bronze trim with a rose gold nib, and this is actually made out of basaltic lava harvested from Mount Etna in Sicily. And it's a very unique feeling material. It almost feels kind of like an ebonite. It's a little bit hygroscopic, which means that it's actually going to wick away some of the moisture from your fingers and give you a really good grippy feel as you're holding the pen. So it makes it an extremely comfortable writer. Um, but obviously, this is not a normal process for <laughs> making pen materials. So something very unique to Visconti and very unique to the Homo sapiens as well. I've been daily carrying a Homo sapiens myself for about three years at this point, and it only gets better with age. So the nib is actually made of 23 karat palladium, which I think is unique to Visconti, um, but palladium is a fine metal just like you have gold, so it's going to have a similar performance to a very soft gold nib. So that's part of what you're paying for when you step up here from the steel nibs. The Bronze Age specifically has been two-toned for a long time. They recently changed over to the All Rose Gold, which I think matches really nicely. And this is what we can probably anticipate for the foreseeable future. The filling mechanism on this pen is called a power filler, which is known as a vacuum filler in other brands of pens. The way that it works is you unscrew this knob in the back, you pull the piston all the way back, and as you press it down, it creates a vacuum inside the pen, which releases right as you hit the bottom and it sucks ink up into the pen. It holds a more ink than you would have in most of your other filling mechanisms, and it's really just kind of fun. This one is really considered to be like the grail pen that's out there. If there's probably one question that gets asked on social about what's your grail pen, the Homo sapiens is up there for a lot of people. And it was like that for me too. Uh, and I aspired to get one, I got one, and it's really held up for me personally. That's not necessarily for everybody, but it's a, been a pretty awesome pen. There are other Visconti pens that fall kind of in this price range. You know, I think about ones like the Medici, the Opera Master. Some of these have some different features, but they're all kind of centered around usually a power filler mechanism and this larger 23 karat palladium nib. So the Homo Sabian's Bronze Age specifically has an MSRP of $775. So it's a bit of a commitment, um, but pens that fit into this price range from Visconti I would really consider to be in this like maybe 600 on up to maybe 11 or $1,200. And the final pen, the Visconti Medici Il Magnifico. This pen is really as much a functional piece of art as it is a writing instrument. When you get into pens that are in this kind of price range, the $1,500 on up price, you're usually looking at limited edition pens that are made in very small batches, maybe a couple hundred in the world. They're all gonna be individually numbered and there's gonna be heavy, heavy theming and uh, history and art that goes into these pens. The Il Magnifico specifically centered very much around Florence, Italy, 
the theming of this pen and the inspiration was Lorenzo Medici, who was kind of known as uh, Lorenzo the Magnificent, hence Il Magnifico. Um, and he was really kind of the head of the Medici family in this very important time during the Renaissance, in the heart of the Renaissance in Florence. And it's got a lot of symbology on the pen. You're seeing some allusions to the Medici crests here on the side. There's sterling silver that's all engraved. The body is made out of a green marble, which emulates the marble that you see on the Duomo in the heart of Florence. Uh, and you're going to just see a lot of elements like this that allude to history, maybe historical figures, historical places, uh, and these types of things. So there's, there's way more going on with this type of pen than just, you know, how much ink does it hold inside of it, right? Um, so that's what you're getting when you get into this price range. You're going to have some similar features to what you have in the, you know, kind of Homo sapiens range. You're still going to get this 23 karat palladium nib. You're getting a power filler. You get the hook safe lock um, uh, capping mechanism, which is a Visconti unique capping mechanism. And you're going to get that spring clip as well with all the Visconti logoing and accoutrement that you would expect. A pen like the Il Magnifico is, is really going to be kind of a statement piece. I mean, the thing is made of sterling silver and marble. It's very heavy. If you're writing with, long, with it for long periods of time, like your hand is going to hurt because it's a bit of work to use. But, you know, it's the kind of thing like if you are tied to anything that the theming it alludes to, it's going to just give you such a, a more of a connection with the pen. Anything in this price range that you're looking at, um, that's what you're going to really appreciate about having a piece of work like this. So the Il Magnifico specifically has an MSRP of $2,395, so you got to really love it, but if you connect with it, you will be thrilled. So there you have it, three very iconic Visconti fountain pens. Now if you're asking me which one I think is worth it the most, I can make an argument for all three quite honestly, but me personally, it's been the Homo Sapiens. So I would love to know what you think about these three pens as well as any other iconic Visconti pens or elements of pens that you love. So you can leave a comment down on the YouTube and you can check more about these pens, product descriptions, pictures, all kinds of good information on gouletpens.com. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and right on.